this is the area that's being proposed to uh, be brought into the urban service area. So as you can see up here, we have I-64, we have I-75 running north to south. Here is Winchester Road. This is Polo Club Boulevard. We have Man of War here. We have Costco right here. And running along here is North Cleveland Road. Um, down here, you have the new hospital under construction. And if you go down a little further, you have Hamburg. So let's look at what planning is proposing. Uh, this was presented to the Urban Growth, Advisor, Urban Growth Management Advisory Committee on September 5th. Uh, as you can see, the area dotted in red here is the prioritized area for expansion. It encompasses uh, 2,798 net acres. So that's the total acreage that can be developed on. So they subtracted out floodplains and uh, things around creeks that are not suitable for development. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I want to look at the difference between the areas that are within the urban service area represented by this reddish color on the map and the areas that are currently outside of it. So let's go ahead and overlay the area that's being proposed and let's bring in the parcels just for a look. So as you can see, um, the parcels, the way everything is broken up here, uh, they're generally quite larger, uh, less dense than the areas within the urban service area. <clears throat> and, you know, that's kind of to be expected. Um, but as we bring in more of this to the urban service area, we're going to have more developments that look like this than kind of farmland as this is. So let's take the parcels away. And I want to give you one example of, I guess, the effects of what, what the visually it looks like to bring something into the urban service area. So let's go to Uttinger Town first. Uttinger Town is currently outside of the urban service area. It's a historical rural black hamlet. So these were established after the Civil War as a place of sanctuary for black families whose uh, ancestors were previously enslaved. Um, these have much cultural and historical significance and uh, planning director Jim Duncan described um, generational activities taking place. So these are intended to be homesteads for families uh, you know, to be passed down generation to generation. So this is what Uttinger Town looks like currently and just kind of get a visual of, you know, it's, this is what you would call a rural area. Um, there's not a bunch of streets and development, high density everywhere. Um, and let's compare to Caden Town, which is another historical hamlet that has been introduced into the urban service area. Okay, so this is Caden Town, and I, it's hard to even tell, but this was previously a rural hamlet um, prior to the 1996 expansion. So if we zoom out here, you know, you can see Man of War coming along here, and then you hit Hamburg and everything else, and there's just generally a lot of development, but it wasn't always like that. Um, I want to bring in the urban service area from 1980. So this area was within the urban service area as of 1980. However, um, in 96, there was another expansion that brought in all this stuff that is now Hamburg. So I want to go ahead and look at the historical photos. So if we slide, we're going to go back in time a little bit to 1994, and I'll remove the 1980 overlay, but if we have an aerial photo of 1994, we can see here not as much development around Caden Town. However, um, you see the decision to expand came in 1996. If we jump forward to 1997, quite a bit of development already popping up in the area. Again, as we 
saw, here's the 1980 um, version of the urban service area. And then this area was added in 1996, the red overlay here. So when that happened, you had more development coming. And then if you just continue to advance, you can kind of watch the development over the years until, you know, Caden Town is eventually no longer rural by any stretch of the imagination. So let's, just to get a better perspective, let's go back out to 1985. This is that area we were looking at prior to this area being brought in. And then again, let's look at it now. And let's go to Uttinger Town again. Again, that area right here. It's a rural area by all appearances. Urban service area. And this is the proposed expansion area. Um, planning has stated that and I don't know if this was a binding statement or if this was just something that said that was said, but they they said they didn't want to bring in Uttinger Town to the official uh, area. And I'm still kind of waiting to hear more about, um, you know, how they're going to kind of protect this area from too much development. But the way it's looking right now is that Uttinger Town and this area around it is essentially going to be built up. So, I mean, let's look at the parcels again. You have kind of these piano key lots, low density uh, rural parcels, and then just moving across over here to where the urban service area is. You have dense development, a lot of commercial activities. So, um, this issue is not really something that goes along conservative, liberal, or even party lines. Um, you're going to have general, generationally wealthy horse farm owners agreeing with urban communists on this. You're going to have housing advocates agreeing with real estate brokers and real estate investors on this. Um, it's really something you need to look into and make up your own mind on because there's no easy, you know, one minute uh, follow your political allegiance explainer. So I do encourage everybody to go in and check out these maps for yourself. And there you have it, folks. Um, if you like maps, I hope that was a very informative video. And if I got anything wrong, as always, let me know in the comments below. Mm -hmm.